Today for chapter 8, we're going to talk about substitution of alkenes. More specifically, how many substituents an alkene has that is not a hydrogen. First, we have an unsubstituted alkene. Now, as you can see by the image, that means that all of its substituents are hydrogens. Next is a monosubstituted alkene, which as you can see has three hydrogen substituents and one group that is not a hydrogen. This is followed by a disubstituted alkene, which you can see here has two hydrogens and two substituents that are not hydrogens. Next is a trisubstituted alkene, which you can see here has only one group or substituent that is a hydrogen and three groups that are not hydrogens. And finally, we have a tetrasubstituted alkene seen here, and this has no substituents that are hydrogens or all substituents that are something other than a hydrogen. The thing that you want to take away from this is that the more substituted an alkene is, the lower energy it is or the more stable it is. We will now use this concept to look at a couple examples and determine which alkene is more stable. We can now use our knowledge about substituted alkenes to determine which of these two structures will be lower energy or will be favored. So we can begin on the left here with this structure. And we're going to go ahead and draw in our hydrogens so that we can see how substituted this is. So we have two hydrogens there and one here. And then our fourth substituent here is actually that carbon. So we could go ahead and classify this as monosubstituted. Then looking at our structure on the right here, if we go ahead and draw in our hydrogens, we have one here and one here and our other substituents are both here and here that are not hydrogens. So we can go ahead and classify this as di substituted. Now that we have the knowledge that a more substituted alkene is lower energy, we can go ahead and say that this structure here on the right would be favored. In conclusion, we want to remember that a more substituted alkene is more stable. So this unsubstituted alkene is less stable than this monosubstituted alkene, which is less stable than this disubstituted alkene, which is less stable than this trisubstituted alkene, which is less stable than this tetrasubstituted alkene, which is the most stable.